Yo, what's going on Facebook, YouTube? It's your boy Lafayette Gunner Jr. here, back with another video review. Um, so, I just got a um, uh, a real good um, matter of fact. This is some great news, and I'm really happy about it. So, really, to be honest, it's about this new baritone saxophone uh, Van Dorn V16 with the MO ligature. Uh, I've been, um, I finally, finally, finally got one of these bad boys, and I have to say, I really enjoy these, this mouthpiece a lot. Uh, you hear a commotion, that's my wife and my daughter back there, but, um, so I just wanted to make this video, this quick video, about this mouthpiece, and, um, uh, uh, I gotta get going to my gig, uh, today. I just came from a gig, so bear with me, I'm tired, so... First start. First off, I just have to say, this mouthpiece is so good, it's so cool. Even this ligature is super cool too. So um, I got, as you know, I'm playing on this ligature on all my saxophones. Hey, mama, what is it? Look at my daughter. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, you don't want to say hi? Okay. All right. <laughs> she don't want to say hi. So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video. So let me play it. Let me demonstrate this mouthpiece. See what this thing can do. I don't even have my neck strap because I got my horns in the car. Um, yeah. find an alto version of this but the they're great horns and th these mouthpieces these mouthpieces make it make it tremendously awesome to play and it's so effortless it's easy to play it, it stays in that dark thing it, it stays right in the dark it's a darker mouthpiece you know especially on alto tenor and soprano barry is more kind of punchy to me but it's it's fun it's a fun mouthpiece to play uh, I don't have any problems with this mouthpiece. I've played so many different Barry Sax mouthpieces, metal and hard rubber. Um, and in fact, let me go in here. I actually have a Jody Jazz HR Star Barry mouthpiece. So, I mean, I don't know how much time I got on the camera. I can probably swap mouthpieces and compare these mouthpieces. This is a HR, this is a 7 tip open and this is a 7 as well. So, let me know in the comments what you guys think about these mouthpieces. And if you like this or do you like this better. And let me know. Um, what's your opinion? And the Reed is a, uh, a, a Rico Jazz Select 2.5. I normally am a Van Doren guy, but I had to find what kind of reads. I, I had to get reads what I... Eh, I, had to find, I had to buy what I needed at the time because I'm playing a lot of gigs. So, uh, just bear with me for a second here. Uh, okay, so this is the first... Uh, Mouthpiece. Let me play this again. Okay, that's that mouthpiece. 
mouthpiece. All right, this is the Jody Jazz HR Star 7 with the MO ligature. <laughs> sounds better and um, just leave a comment down below and see and um, what's your opinion I actually didn't think I was gonna actually play that good without a neck strap normally I would have a neck strap I don't do the harness thing when I play Barry I just wear a normal alto tenor strap on a Barry I don't know some people probably think I'm crazy I mean that's just a per personal preference but just let me know down below what you guys think uh, Barry sax player shout me out if do you like this mouthpiece, the uh, the Jody Jazz HR Star, or do you like this bad boy right here, the uh, the V16 um, B B7 mouthpiece? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you. I'm I'm Lafayette Gunner Jr. Peace.